the euro have been again it's pretty much the same setup that we had in the euro pound and the setup that we had in the euro pound is this we had a big push to the upside nobody believed that that is possibly a trend change you had the that is that decline which we call the wave of disbelief again nobody believed that this thing is going to go higher and it comes back it comes to two structure point right there which is the 12395 and the 124 they're right there they're pretty much it's identical to what you've seen in the euro pound let me put the chart for the euro pound again you can see it, it is identical and these when one currency one confirms the other that is your two structural points and it sat at it two three days and it exploded to the upside the same thing with the euro Aussie dollar it sat about the same four or five days boom and it broke to the upside but this time it went above this structure it hasn't gone above that structure point in the euro pound yet but in the euro Aussie it did because the move here is also supported by a very big trend that was there to the downside and therefore a lot of people are shorting their covering their shorts so we're getting this move to the end. so having this one red bar by no means is a trend change where we are right now we are at 128, 127.08. This high is 127.17. This is pretty much an inside day. We don't have the high is 128.24. Yesterday's high 128.23. It's the same. I mean, I we've got a nickel and dime for a pip so we can still call this an inside day I mean it's not um, so if it gets above pulls back above the previous daily high which is the 17 that will be a buy if it takes out the low of this day which is the 126.94 that will be a sell so they're here as you can see there is your 127.18 that here would be your buy you want to be on the conservative side you buy it on the other side of the range here and look at this I mean the trend is still to the upside I mean it's still and if the, the, the intraday chart actually clarifies the picture uh, much more clearly or defines the picture much more clearly than what you see on the daily uh, it's a pretty much an extended move a decline on the daily chart so we are going to buy it above because right now you can have two gifts I mean you can see that how big this how big this gift is because that's the trend and there is a small gift to the downside so if it gets above the 127.18 it probably would be the break of this gift line too so we're going to buy it above the 127.18 and if we do we're going to place our stop below the one 26 just I'm, I'm using the daily low 126.95 as a stop and the, the low of the day is the one so this is where I'm going to go short below the 126.95 so it's a kind of stop and reverse if you will and my structural short point is 
be 126 17 and my short stop is the 127.18 so I'm using the long so my short entry I'm going to go long above 117.18 my stop is 126.95 and my structure long point I have to find it on the short side I'm going to go short below 126.95 I have a structure short point at 126.17 and my stop is going to be the 127.18 on the long side, on the short side. So to pick a structure point, because it's giving us several times these dual kind of points, just for the sake of reference, I'm going to put this one here which is the 129.22 simply because it's it's been doing this look how many times it has done that so again I just gonna keep it so if it gets up to there I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with it then and there, like what we did in the CAD. So the structure long point is going to be the 129. Twenty-two. Okay? So we're going to buy this above 127. 18. The structure long point is 129.22 and my stop is 126.95 on the short side I'm going to go short below 126.95 and my structural short point is the 126.17 and my stop is going to be the 127.18 okay that is the Euro Aussie and 